what is going on guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video but this time it's going to be an art video just going over some art i've done this year early to mid 2020 of this year so before we get into all of this if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe like comment and follow me on instagram and twitter so let's go over some things well some things that i did over the last few months i've done it was my first time you know, wanting to try painting after practicing on how to blend or how to make sure it goes up top with the anatomy, light source coming from up top, the dark source coming from the bottom. But I didn't really do this on YouTube. I just did it, you know, with that camera. So this is basically a Wolverine piece that I've done. It's all done in paint and I use water, um, a lot of water, but I didn't really use oil unless I had to, but I just like use like water or oil. I'm not sure what I use, but this is kind of like my first take on painting stuff for what's to come in future videos. This next piece right here, someone actually wanted me to go or draw a picture of Godzilla. I'm not really a fan of Godzilla like that, but I like his I like his designs, but I just don't feel comfortable drawing him because he has all of these extra square pieces on the tail and as well as on the body parts. But his legs were the main problems I had with it because it took me like a while to color all the way through. I did this in my part one video and my second part I finished the rest of it. But this is the first Godzilla drawing I've done. I think once I keep on practicing it, I'll probably get better at it. Now this piece right here is what really inspired me to get back into the comic book art world. I mean art world, excuse me. And this was done by well an inspiration by James Box Office Artist. My this piece that I've done it's, it's called, a, you know, it's based off a banana. As strange as that sounds, this is a banana ranger. As you can see, the helmet is shaped of a banana, but it's more like a lemon. And her sword is shaped like a banana, but it moves like a possum, which is a weird creature. LOL. But this is just a banana ranger, but it's also yellow at the same time. It kind of reminds me of Donald Thunder Yellow Ranger when it comes to the helmet and the visor wise. Now this right here is what I wanted to try for the first time. Carnage isn't my first character drawing that I wanted to do. It was basically Venom, but this one was a hard challenge because of this black, black things surrounding his costume with the symbiote stuff. This one took me forever, but I was also running out of alcohol based markers. But I had to finish the rest of the side with just colored pencils, even though it looks kind of strange. But I had to use what I had to make it work. So this was the first Carnage drawing that I've done, you know, in 2020. I'll probably get some more practice in with the character so that I'll be able to get better at it over time. It is the Mortal Kombat drawing. This is Scorpion. This is one that I drew from 2014. I just redrew this and make it into a comic book style. And I was trying, I call myself trying to rush it like James the Box Office Artist did. You know, he doesn't really take his time with his art. He just goes in and just go for, just go to town with this work, with this craft, as you can say. And this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to do Scorpion like this because he's one of my favorite characters in Mortal Kombat, especially in Mortal Kombat 1, with his spirit and his uppercut were very easy to use to beat all opponents. And I've done a speed run of this in the past, but this is not what this is about. This is about my work that I've done in 2020. Santello piece was from 2018, from like two years ago. My anatomy was all over the place. I didn't really know where I wanted to go with it, but I just had to just redraw it and do what I had to do to make it better. And I've done this on here as well, so I will have that in the link well, down below so you guys can go check it out for yourselves. But this is from 2018 when I do this though. I, I've also done this in YouTube as well. Now this one is really special to me. This is probably one of my favorite ones I've done so far. This is my first Venom drawing I've done because I was using alcohol-based markers and I couldn't find the 
but I couldn't figure out what to use with the black and the blue and the purple. So I just went with the black and blue because it works with the Venom person because of the symbiotes. And what took me so long was just the overall coloring with the Aquaman base markers. And this is when I was actually, like I said before, running out of markers again. I could have just used paint or just used color pencils, but like I said, I, I used what I had to use to just get it done. The semi parts of the background just what took me so long to get it done, but at least I tried. But I'm proud of how it came out so far. Now this one is Venomous. This is a Mortal Kombat inspired character. And with the hype of the Mortal Kombat 11 still going well with releasing DLC characters and stuff like that, I just thought I would just create a Venom character inspired by a Mortal Kombat, well, character. Well, this is Venom, as you can see the, the symbiotes in the background, and you can see the symbiotes on the bottom part, and this is Venom in a Mortal Kombat costume inspired in the little uh, Venom Spider logo on top, and this is him using his Venom blade, whichever you want to call it. And now that you think about it, Venom can make any symbiote turn into a weapon, a sword, a hammer, a knife, whichever case it might be. But this one is definitely one of my favorite ones I've done so far. And this one, this is my Ninja Fury character drawing that I've done this year, 2020. And I've done all of this in maybe five parts. And then I also created a compilation. So it's all in my channel, guys. You, you just have to subscribe to my channel and look for it. It's there. So this is the Ninja Fury piece that I've done. This is Jason. Uh, Jason. Uh, Jennifer, no, uh, yeah, uh, Jennifer and Samantha, and this is my father, uh, my father's character, and this is his rival, Kimiyasha. So, this is all inspired by Tokusatsu, you know, a Metal Hero series, and I wanted to create a ninja thing, you know, out of Tokusatsu comic book series featuring African American team, you know, representing DC and doing all things great. So this is what my my character was inspired by. This Leonardo. I wanted to make a video of this but I ran out of battery. So I had to recharge my phone but I had to finish the half of it. So instead I just put cross hatching and details onto this though. But it looked really great in video but when it is done it looks like I could have done better but I, like I said, I tried, but I'm not a perfect artist, but as long as I keep on practicing it, I, sh I should be able to get better at it. So, yeah. This is Streets of Rage 4 Blaze. Now, everybody loves the Streets of Rage 4 video game. I haven't played it yet, but I heard how good the game was. So, this is Streets of Rage 4 version of Blaze, and I've done this also on, on this channel as well. And I used the level 7 thing, well, level 7 track of this video because it fits Streets of Rage. You know, that's what it's known for. But I'm surprised how well this came out. You know, I've done it my way and it came out beautiful. <laughs> uh, this one is the 2018 Time Blizzard Ranger that I drew. I put in extra, extra, extra details onto this. The cross hatching is all over the place. That's because I added more details. And. The veins on the biceps, I wanted to make sure the anatomy is work on one area and then the other area. So, yeah, as, as, as you can see, I'm slowly getting better at my anatomy. But as long as I keep on practicing it, I should be able to get better at it. But this one is one of my favorite ones I've done so far. And this one is the shredder. My first take on the shredder. I did want to draw the shredder from the 1987 cartoon series. I wanted to join him from the 1984 comics when he was ruthless, he was evil, he was just a vicious character that I admired from the first Venom, well not Venom, but the first, uh, crap. You know what, I just like the, the 1984 Shredder, it's, it's cool. Now this is my first take on Crash Bandicoot, with the hype of Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. This one came out okay. It didn't really look like Crash Bandicoot, but this was my first take on him, you know, as a character. But once I keep on practicing it, I'll probably get better at it. So, yeah. 
This is the Venom Ranger that I drew a while back. Now, if you don't know, you know, while I was watching other Venom drawings, it kind of inspired me to draw Venom as a Power Ranger of how to a come out to be. But this one, took, this one came out good, surprisingly. I was a little concerned that it was going to come out the way I intended it to be, but it came out how I would have expected. You got the Venom, you know, playing with his symbiotes, using it as a weapon, the Venom Ranger helmet, and the rest of the Venom part is just a Ranger part. I don't know where this comes from, but that's a mistake. But hey, this is the Venom Ranger that I drew, and like I said, I did this on the Sunday while I was watching Pokemon Sizer shows, The Metal Heroes, and it worked. It helped a lot. So, this is part one. Part two would be more of my art that I've done in 2020. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash the like button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will. <laughs> well, I guess I will see you in my next video.